So over my right hand shoulder is the Vitarazzi Moster Factory. Over my left hand shoulder is the Moster Plus. Recently I did a video about this guy, about the key differences and my thoughts on if it was worth the extra thousand dollars for this nice beautiful package with a bit more performance. Now it got me thinking, the propeller on this motor was different than the propeller on this motor for all the flights that I did. Conventionally, my Plus was running this nifty E-Prop, but the factory was running this American flagged out uh, Helix, which I'm told is a lightweight version of the Helix. Now, in order to get to the bottom of the key differences between the motors, I figured we'd do a little bit of quote unquote scientific testing today and slap the uh, Helix onto my Plus and go for a flight. This is the setup I have the most time with, so I think I'll be able to notice the most differences if I switch a propeller. All right, let's talk about some of the key differences between these two propellers. The uh, E-Prop here is the one I have the most time on. The biggest thing that I think this prop does well is acceleration. It's supposed to be extremely lightweight so that it can accelerate faster because less mass means higher acceleration. If you look at the profile of this prop, it's very fat. It has like a thick airfoil and it's got this huge massive sweep towards the center, uh, which helps cool the engine. Now, little fun fact, this very propeller here is the same propeller from my last Scout, which I ran the Icarus race on. Now, this guy, our lightweight Helix, um, to me, it feels a little bit heavier. The profile is much more flat. It still has a nice sweep here, but the, the airfoil thickness is a lot thinner also. All right, 850.4 grams. 629.3 grams. All right, so I'll do the math. Um, obviously, the Helix is a little bit heavier. And uh, my time flying a Helix previously told me a couple things. With it being heavier, it didn't accelerate as fast. But the one thing I did like about it, it felt like it had higher top end thrust. Now this new Helix that I got with the factory, to me, it seems like it accelerates just as fast as my E-Prop, but it has more top end power. And that's what I wanna kinda distinguish the difference between the factory and this Helix prop. Where am I feeling the differences from? What's causing that difference? Um, I just wanted to talk about this real quick. So these two propeller examples I'm using today are like pretty high end propellers, top of the line. I think they go for like 450 bucks a piece. So on the topic of propellers, there are a lot of options out there. You've got examples like this guy here. This was from my very first paramotor, the Black Hawk Mobile. I think these go for like 250 or 275 or something. But the disadvantage is these propellers are so stinking heavy, the acceleration in your throttle response is much, much worse. Damn! Look at that thing. That's a behemoth. That's a 49 inch propeller. I believe that's three inches shorter than the other two carbon fiber examples. That is why I like carbon fiber. You get so much more acceleration out of it. Okay, so the plot thickens. I uh, realized I had a couple more E-props lying around and I just threw them on the scale. Um, all E-props, all the same length and they're just different generations and they keep getting lighter. This is my my E-Prop from the Icarus race that I've been running forever, we got 629.1. We move on to another generation. This one has been on my shelf for less time than that one. This one's 593.5. And now I put on this one, which I got at Endless Foot Drag. And this one weighs 505.8. So they just keep getting lighter. So moral of the story, I'm really glad I'm doing this video and these tests because I didn't even realize I've had a propeller sitting on the shelf that I thought was just the same, but newer. Little did I know it's over a hundred grams lighter. So seems like after I do this test with the Helix, I'll probably be putting that new E-Prop back on and try that. I'm actually gonna throw it in the van with me. We'll bring it along. And if I get the opportunity to do two flights tonight, I'll throw that E-Prop on and see if that's another world of difference, but 
This is interesting stuff. Sometimes I worry what people think of me when I start filming myself at a park like this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, we're here with Jeff and Dan, and it's a little bit tricky. The wind was strong, and now it died off to almost nothing. So we're trying to kind of figure out where we're gonna launch from. I'm gonna go up first with the Helix that weighed 850 something grams. My prediction is gonna be that the acceleration might not be as good as I'm used to because it's heavier than what I'm used to at 6.30. That plane sounds like it's gonna fall apart. But I'm hoping for higher top end thrust, a faster climb rate at full throttle. So we'll see. I'm gonna cut straight to GoPro footage and we'll get in the air. get away from these power lines and this park. All right, let's talk about this prop. First impressions. I'm actually, I think I was right about the acceleration. However, I'm very surprised because this propeller, 850 grams, heavier than my normal E-prop, my heavy E-prop, this Helix accelerated really well in the factory, which says something good about the factory, that it probably has more torque than the Plus, which is very interesting. The way, like, I can feel it. See if you can hear. I'm gonna, like, wiggle the throttle and show you the throttle. Ready? If I do that on my uh, Helix on this motor, it snaps to power way quicker, which is why I like the Helix. It accelerates better. And just like the, the math would say, this prop weighs over 200 grams more. That means it won't accelerate as fast. Simple uh, physics, I suppose. But let's try our maximum climb rate. I haven't hit full power yet. We should be fully warmed up, so let's see. Cruise throttle, she sounds nice, she sounds smooth. Got that little tip sound going on. And let's roll on to full. You know, this is very interesting. I would say that the climb rate is better than the E-Prop, but very slightly. This Helix on the factory is much better than both the E-Prop or the Helix on the Plus, which once again says something good for the factory. That factory definitely has more acceleration torque and more top end power. What I'm feeling right now is that the Helix is a better, it puts out a higher thrust number, but the E-Prop accelerates quicker. So it's kind of pick and choose which one you want. And my style of flying, I value the snappier throttle response more than uh, the maximum climb rate. <laughs> Dude, it gets me every time flying through the little smoke cloud. This is the best thing ever. This is my favorite cornfield. You guys remember this cornfield? If you saw the, uh, I caught a helium balloon while flying around hot air balloons video. This is like the coolest trick in the book. Just come down here in this little groove. Oh, it's colder down here. Look at this, a little uh, shallow tree run. Trying not to get my chase cam caught on anything. It's just spectacular. 
so life update at this point in time minus the delay of editing uh, it was just a couple days ago we announced the new t-shirt designs and you guys absolutely killed it I can't thank you guys enough for the support you guys showed on that initial release I'm really happy that everyone enjoyed the designs and everything if you haven't seen them check them out they're on the website as always out. Oh, it's a wonderful day to just, you know, ride my dirt bike. Oh, God, a cliff! <laughs> you know what's freaky? That guy has like a blue tarp covering a mound of something in his yard. To a paramotor pilot, a blue tarp looks like a downed wing. Like Jeff's wing is blue. So at first glance, I'm like, oh shit, Jeff! Oh, no, just a blue tarp. Alright, I'm thinking I'm gonna run back to the park and do like a really fast freaking NASCAR, like doo -doo 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 -doo. take off the prop, put on the other one, and we'll get back ASAP. All right, target acquired. I think I'm gonna land as close to the van as I can, which means this right baseball diamond. I already walked this whole park, so I know where everything's at. Everything is safe. All right, gonna leave the wing there. Jeff and Dan are up. Gonna walk over to the van. Do the world's fastest prop change. Da -da -da -da. Okay, Chase Cam's dead, unfortunately. And uh, this is everything I need. Okay, I'm not even gonna worry about cleaning that up. We'll set that there. Pull out this boy, a lightweight champion. It's so much fun. <laughs> that was me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm filming right now. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> a video? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Awesome. Getting recognized left and right at the park tonight. Shout out to you guys. I'm gonna launch right from here now that the wind is dead. We're in a solo camera operation right now. All right, everything checks out. Way faster acceleration on this one. I can feel it already. Watch this. All right. Up again. That took way too long, but it's worth it, because check out this prop. I'm going to do that same test. You ready? Straight and level. Faster response time, that's a difference of, what did we say, 350 grams? That's significant. 
All right, let's give her a uh, full power climb rate test. It's very slight. I think it's just a little bit less top end thrust. Not a whole lot. It's, I think it's just enough to notice without like doing numbers with GPSs or something. Like you can feel just a little bit less climb rate. If it was any less, you probably wouldn't feel it. Now the question is, can I tell the difference between this one, which is 505 versus my one I normally fly, which is 630? I'd probably be imagining it if it was any anything. I don't like notice the difference, honestly, right off the bat. It might be there, but I can't really tell, honestly. All right, nice donut in the sky. This is one of my favorite maneuvers. Ready for it? Are you ready? Not gonna crash into Dan, but we're gonna swoop straight through it and then barrel roll. All right, there's the circle. Let's try to blow smoke down through the center. of it really awkward to try to get back above it. Oh, you can kind of see it. All right, we got a clear shot. I'm gonna land on this side this time. End result of my completely non-scientific seat of the pants uh, testing. Pretty much what I expected. The Helix definitely has higher uh, max thrust, so better climb rate. Very noticeable difference on the acceleration with the Helix. It doesn't accelerate very quick. It feels heavy and it smooths out the whole throttle range because it's not twitchy, but I like twitchy. And that's what the E-Prop was all about. I think, judging by what I gathered here, I still think that the factory has better acceleration and better maximum thrust. Anyways, we're all packed up. We're about ready to leave. As always, thanks for all the support. Check out the link below for the new merch and everything. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode for the next adventure. Till then, peace out.